And so today's video will be uh, three healthy holiday tips for your mind. In order to have a healthy body, we got to have a healthy mind. What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. What's going on? Happy Monday. We are on live Facebook. Comment below if you're watching on replay. Um, I'm going to go back and watch these on replay, read the comments, comment your questions so I can answer it in next video. I got my coffee. If you do come on, ask your questions down below. This will be saved. So if you aren't, um, if you aren't here now, it will be saved for later. So it's getting a little chilly these days. Having to roll up my, my jacket. It's getting a little chilly. Got my warm coffee. And I'll be going over three. In today's video, I'm going to go over three things, uh, three healthy holiday tips for your mindset. Because you guys know the holidays, uh, a lot of stuff happens in the holidays. A lot of things go on, right? There's shopping. There's uh, meeting with families. I don't know about this year, about all the meetings, but, you know, there's a, a lot going on. And so in order to have a healthy body, we got to have a healthy mind. And so today's video will be uh, three healthy holiday tips for your mind. Again, if you have questions you want me to answer after, just drop it in a comment. Just drop it in there. It is Monday uh, the 23rd. Man, Thanksgiving is coming up this Thursday. We got Thanksgiving. I don't know about you guys, but I had a uh, early Thanksgiving with my because I can't do it this Thursday. So we had a uh, with my family this Saturday, and man, I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram, but I munched and I posted all the food on my stories. I had we had turkey. We had uh, uh, comment down below. What's your favorite Thanksgiving uh, dish meal? Mine is the stuffing, uh, but this year. My brother made the amazing mac and cheese. Everything he makes is freaking amazing because he's a chef. But the mac and cheese was woo, was to die for. Um, Burns is in the house. Same two weeks ago. It was it's just so good. The leftovers you can make a little sandwich, and of course the sandwiches. I'm all about the sandwiches. Uh, stuff, what else is pretty good? Stuffing, turkey, obviously, mashed potatoes with the gravy. Oh, I gotta put the gravy on there. Comment below your guys' favorite Thanksgiving dish. Those are, that's my favorite. Stuffing and mashed potatoes. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. All right, let's get into it. Three things to help you with your mindset. Oh, pumpkin pie is really good, too. Three healthy holiday tips to help you with your mindset. So during the holidays, there's a lot going on, shopping, traffic, work, right, families, meetings, all this stuff. The end of the year, I don't know if your uh, work has quotas, but quotas, one thing that I like to do and one thing that I like to encourage people to do, clients, friends, family, is to reflect in these last couple of weeks of the year. Um, and when I say reflect, most years, it's a little easier because you're going, going, going the whole year, and then the holidays is kind of a time to reflect. This year, I feel like in 2020, we kind of had that reflection when COVID hit and everyone was at home. I feel like a lot of people kind of had some time to reflect, but I'm going to throw a curveball. Now I want you to reflect in a way of, all right, how am I going to bounce back? How am I going to come back? How am I going to, you know, I know some of you guys watching this video already on that on that road, already on that road to, on the comeback, you know, uh, Burns in the house. She's been doing crazy good in her program. Lauren uh, is another client in the last like few weeks, month. She's just been turning it on. I love when I see that. But for, you know, the ones who are watching us who aren't on that path yet, take time to reflect and think, all right, how am I going to grab 2021 and, and use it, you know, to my advantage? How am I going to what are the things I want to accomplish, right? What are my goals? Is it to feel better? Is it to just feel better during my days, to have more energy throughout my day? Is it to be more productive in 
present at work? Is it to uh, increase my, my confidence? Is it to increase my confidence and my uh, self-esteem? Because I know I got to work out, but I haven't been working out. So, you know, is this going to help my self-esteem? Is that, is, is that what I want? But know what you want. And the best way to know what you want and know what process uh, you're going to take is by reflecting, you know, what didn't work in the past, right? What did I do in the past that didn't work? You know, I know a lot of people get apps. They get workout apps. They get programs. You know, sometimes that works for people. Did it work for you? Does, do you need more accountability? You need to go to the gym because the outdoor at-home workouts aren't working too well? Or do you need a, a buddy, an accountability partner, a coach, trainer? Um, think about the things that you need. Think about the hardships that are going to be, you know, in your way. And then think about ways to overcome them. But, you know, November, December, great time to reflect. You know, I always recommend grabbing like a journal and just writing down your goals. Um, when you visualize and write down your goals, it makes it more real and it makes it way more possible for you to achieve them. So that's why I say time to reflect, write in a journal. That's number one. Number two is say goodbye to negative self-talk. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, but this is something I've preached for a long time. This is something I, I try to really talk about a lot is that negative self-talk, cut, cut it out. Have you ever watched Full House? Cut it out, Joey. Um, but like the negative self-talk. So shaming yourself or getting down on yourself. I used to be super self-competitive in high school, so I get where it comes from. But in the long run, it won't help you. I remember this is a quick story on negative self-talk. And I was in sports. I used to throw the discus and the shot put in, in a track and field. And my coach was a, a hard A. He was a hard ass. And... I remember going to practice one time and he was just like, you know, getting us ready for our drills. And I was getting so frustrated. I was like, why can't I throw this as far as that? I don't know if you've ever played a sport where you're like, just getting so frustrated. Golf is another one. But you're just like so frustrated. And he was like, Malik, like, like do this. He was trying to coach me. He was like, you know, and I was like, no. And I was like, I'm just, I, you know, I suck. I'm bad at this. I, I, can't, I can't do this. And he was like, I can't coach you today. I, I can't coach you today. You can go. And I was like, this is senior year of high school. And I was like, this has never happened before. What do you mean? And he was trying to prove a point because that's what he was very like the same way. Maybe you are too. But he was like, you're too hard to coach. You're not coachable. When you're when you're down on yourself so much and you're and you're getting frustrated with yourself and you're not allowing yourself to learn and grow, you're not coachable. So what's the point of being here? And it just opened my mind. It was just like Oh my God, like he's obviously gone through it, but he's, he's right. And now when I'm coaching, cause I do high school football. So like when I coach this year, it's it hasn't been the same, but, and then when I'm personal training on one-on-one -on -one clients or when I'm in a class, you know, and I'm coaching people, if they get frustrated, game over, you know, it's like, there's a block in their wall or there's a, um, a block in their head and, and you're not getting to them. But if you can open up, if you can say, all right, I can do this. You know, yeah, I messed up or, you know, yeah, I might have had a cheat meal when I was supposed to have a cheat meal or, yeah, I didn't work out today when I was supposed to work out or when I was supposed to work out. But you don't want to get down on yourself and make that one day, two, three, four, five days a week and then make that week, two weeks, three weeks. That's what happens to most people is they'll be on a right, they'll be on a, a good path. And then one thing, like they'll have one day or one meal or one workout or just one thing kind of go wrong and their whole thing will like collapse. And that's just because they're hard on themselves. And I get it. It's because you want to improve. You want to be better, which is great. Be hard on yourselves. Use that energy in the right ways, but don't let it destroy your progress. So destroy the negative self-talk. Say goodbye. And then number three, give thanks. Give thanks. Be grateful. Uh, appreciate the things where you are and how far you've come. You know, there's a lot of, uh, this is a good time to be thankful. Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, it's a good time to be thankful. And I think that when we do focus on the things that we are grateful for, you know, the food that I was able to eat, to, like the simple things, like the very little simple things, the food I was able to eat today, you know, two, two, two arms, two legs, limbs. I, I think about that a lot. You know, there's um, people who are in wheelchairs who don't have the opportunity to walk, don't have the opportunity to run. 
Um, don't have the opportunity to bench, you know, things like that. And then there's people who don't have the opportunity to eat, you know, or to go down the street to go grocery shopping, you know. And I think that giving thanks for the things that you have um, is a great way to kind of remind yourself, like, yo, like, we're good, you know, like, I'm not in the worst position that I could possibly be in. I might not be in the best position, but I'm not in the worst. And you could just be thankful for where you're at uh, today. You know, um, if you're watching this video, you definitely got to be thankful because you got Facebook. You probably got a phone. You probably got a computer, obviously, because you're watching this video. But uh, there's a lot of things to be thankful for. So um, that was the three tips for today. Um, look at the comments real quick. Uh, see if there's any questions. No questions, but Burns, appreciate you being on. Thankful for you. Um, have fun at work, and thank you for coming. I'm about to wrap up here anyway, but I appreciate you coming on, Burns. Always appreciate, and I will talk to you later today. Um, have a couple things for you. But, guys, those are the three things. Those are the three healthy – what did I say? I'll start I'll trying to put them in a way. Um, the three – health tips, the three healthy holiday tips for your mindset. Number one, reflect. Number two, say goodbye to negative self-talk. And then number three is give thanks. Be thankful for where you're at. Be thankful for what you have. And be thankful for the people that are around you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you got some value from it. Again, I'm watching on replay. I'm going back and watching the comments, so comment down if you're watching on replay. Comment your question. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying these lives. Hopefully, you're going back and getting some value from them. Ask your questions so I can answer them uh, and provide you value. Yes, you. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Remember, be certain in your skills. Be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you guys next video.